644. Now, as a child, a San Antonio craftsman dreamed of turning pieces of wood into something amazing. Now, decades later, his newfound passion is giving mm -hmm. others the gift of song. How beautiful. Audrey Castreno explains how he's helping make beautiful music in this week's Maiden Essay. Notes dance off the string of this violin. For Eric Sue, a member of the San Antonio Symphony, the instrument is as important as the person who plays it. This is the first time today that I ever heard a professional play this violin. And this is a special instrument for Scott Albert. It's the first he ever made since becoming a professional violin maker almost nine years ago. He made this sound really great, so uh, really, really, uh, I don't know, proud of myself, surprised a little bit, because uh, your first one you're learning. So this violin also represents mistakes. You see, Albert can't play the instrument like his friend Eric. He didn't come from a long line of violin makers either. No, it was more of a goal he set for himself when he was just 10 years old. A long time ago, I saw a documentary on PBS about making violins, and I stuck that kind of in the back of my mind. I was like, someday that'd be really cool to do. Just seeing basically these guys on TV take a piece of tree uh, and by the end of the 30 minutes it was a violin you know that was all beautiful and sounded wonderful and I thought that was just so amazing. After retiring from the Air Force he took a chance and applied to a school in Chicago. Clearly he wasn't the traditional student. And I show up like some carpenter. To graduate he had to learn how to play what he was making. Despite being intimidated and a little scared he was determined to make it through. I had my weekly lessons with my wonderful teacher, Daria, and I was terrible, and uh, she was patient, and I never got really much beyond terrible. What he did get good at was crafting the instrument with his own style. My current violins, I'm trying to be a lot more, uh, there's certain places in the violin where I feel that I can be more artistic, just more me. His hope now for each handcrafted viola and violin is that it will find someone to appreciate it and make beautiful music. Go for it, and if you can't go for it, then start figuring out how you might go for it. You know, uh, someday plans, and, and then make them real, because someday sometimes turns into never for a lot of people, so uh, make a true someday plan and just do it. Audrey Castellano, Ken's 5. We get one shot at it, so you may as well just do it. Eyewitness News.